This is Kit Guru at CS 2026. We're on the Sudoku booth and we're here with Simon, who's the expert on the product. Simon, what do you got here? So this is our SK700V mock. This is our improvement from the SK700V, which is our best cooler in 2025. We improved it by adding a mock fan to the front to allow for a better cooling performance up to 20, 280 watts. And um, comes with the same benefits as our SK700V, but this time also includes our Intel and AMD sockets. Uh, the mounting plate for both. So it's compatible with all CPUs, including the new yes. Pepper Lake stuff. Yes. And also your little Tony start button at the front seems to be lighting up. Yes, it, that's the Mach fan, um, our unique design, it's as well as it's very high performance. So. so what if you've got something a little bit smaller in your system? So this is our low profile cooler, the SK600VC, 77 millimeters of clearance. Um, it uses a vapor chamber to achieve high cooling with low profile. And it comes with our 25 millimeter fan, which is attached by rail mounts. So it's easy to take on and off when you need to uh, clean it or do maintenance. So if you want to clean it, you basically pop it off, wash it, and pop it back later when it's dry. Yes, exactly. Okay. So this one's exclusive for businesses. This is our server and workstation cooler. Um, it's a dual tower cooler. In the middle is a 38 millimeter fan. In the front is a 25 millimeter fan. Uh, it's suited for the AMD Threadripper and like the Epic platform. So the SF, uh, SF, SP3 and SP6 and it cools up to uh, 750 watts. So basically, if it's really, yeah. really hot and you don't care quite as much about noise and aesthetics, that's the kind of product you go for. Yes. What about on the liquid cooling side? So on the liquid cooler side, we have the Aetherflex 360. This is essentially um, one of our new flagship models. It comes with a completely customizable screen with a big display. It can feature GPU metrics, CPU metrics, videos, images. For now, it's just a static image for testing. It's completely adjustable in terms of rotation and sliding for RAM clearance, depending on which area. And it also comes with a little pop-up mount if you need it to. So depending on how you might mount it, uh, you can have the screen facing you while your PC is on the side of your table or underneath your desk. This is our different product. This is our like mid-range. So in between our Nexora and our Proteus, this is our Energlow. Um, it features a customizable display featuring CPU metrics. And this is the CPU temp. You can adjust this to match the CPU temp. And this uh, silicon padding here will feature, it's sort of like an alarm. So when if the CPU temp reaches a certain level, it'll light up and you could customize this. This is going to be different color, different stickers, whatever you want. All of these is customizable. Yeah. And it's completely rotatable as well. So. Okay. You can yeah. change your orientation. Exactly. Change orientation however you want. And it's all controlled with the Mastercraft software. Okay. So for the cooler, we have a 360 radiator and it's using the tw uh, 25 millimeter fans, I believe. So it also comes with RGB LED strip. So it's the same cooling as um, this one, I think. So it's high cooling performance because all our liquid coolers have very high performance. This is our upgrade of the Proteus 360. It's our 420 model. So all these three fans are 140 millimeters. So they are using our mock 140 millimeter fans, 30 millimeter thickness. There's no RGB strip to allow for clearance, but yes, it's the bigger, bigger brother to the Proteus 360. And this has also got LCD on the... Correct. Same, same thing with the Proteus. It's um, completely adjustable LCD, completely customizable as well. You can display images, videos, um, CPU, GPU metrics, whatever you need. So this is our workstation liquid cooler. So no display here because it's just meant to be put into a workstation and kind of like hidden away. Um, it uses our Mach 120 fans and it's a 360 radiator for high performance, like not too much on the aesthetic side, but just high performance and set it and forget it kind of thing. So here we have our Mach fans. So these are our fans from last year, um, but we have the 120 models and the 140 models. Here we're just showing off some 3D printed uh, plates that you can customize. And if you have a 3D printer, you can customize however you want. You can put different textures, you can put different um, items here as well. And you can attach them on all four sides of the blades. It's same performance uh, as last time because it's our fan from last time, but high performance um, features the M winding tech and the clear window and the anti-vibration uh, mounts on the side as well. So this is more for your serious modder who wants to completely customize every aspect yes. of yeah. their system. If you want full customizability, this is where it's at. And these are your Mac 120 and Mac 140 fans? Correct. And they also come with, um, I believe, ISST. So if you reach a certain uh, percentage of fanage, like fan RPM, like let's say you're trying to hit 5 RPM, it'll automatically drop to zero just to keep quiet and because you don't, yeah, and it'll ramp up when it needs to. So yeah, this is our test bench. Features the display on the Proteus 360, completely customizable. You can put images, videos, and any metrics you want. 
And then we've got what Simon said is actually what he believes is the coolest thing on the stand, but it's not for sale yet. Yes, so these are our modded versions of our air coolers. So we have uh, different skins on them. So this is our 700. Uh, this is our 720V, which comes with a mock fan in the front. You can swap this out with the normal fan. And this is our completely pink uh, 620V normal. And this one's our 700V uh, mock. So with the mock fan in front and comes with the sliding rail mount too. So here's a fan display. So this is our Mach 120, I believe. 140, sorry. This is our Mach 140 and this is a cross-section display of our the inside of our fan. You can see the hydraulic bearing in there as well as the M winding tech in the front. So if you look in the front, you can see the wires. So this is our minimal fan with a simple RGB strip, a minimal aesthetic. And it's a 25 millimeter fan, so different from our 30 millimeter ones. Still has the same performance DNA as our mock fans. Completely magnetic daisy chain, as you can see. And we'll only be releasing with these two colors initially, so the black will not be available. And here are some examples of some fan blade designs we tested. This one will probably be our final iteration, but there's some engineering designs. Yeah, we're always performance first and as well as aesthetics.